Hey y'all, my name is Sarah L. Miles and welcome back to another video. This video actually came to as a surprise to me because I didn't think that this was going to come in. I ordered these two products right here. They like last week? I don't know. It came in pretty quick. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just put this in for brand of the month. And so I don't have to do like a bonus one next month. So this is great. So remember how I said that AOA Studio has another foundation, but they don't have my shade in stock. Um, and I would love to try it, but once again, they don't have my shade or they just don't have the range that I would fit into. Um, still not in stock. Okay. Okay. Still not in stock. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I just have to go ahead and just mix foundations and just make my own. So I got the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation in the darkest shade of the light tones, which is pure beige. And I got the lightest shade in the dark tones in cappuccino. Now I'm going to try some variations, mix these babies up, and hopefully I made a shade. It would be nice, it would be nice if they would just go ahead and put the medium tones in stock so I could just get the one shade of amber that I am, that would be great. But let's just see how these work because this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. Also, this is like what, less than $2 for a bottle? So I mean, use my AOA palette right here with the spatula, yes. This is gonna be fun. Um, so how do I wanna do this? First, I want to go ahead and I wanna take the pure beige and do like a big drop of it. And then I'm going to take cappuccino and I'm gonna do a smaller drop and then I'll do vice versa and then I'll do like equal drops. It's, I'm just gonna be a scientist tonight. I mean, which I am a scientist. That is a joke that none of you understand, but just know I'm a scientist. Okay. All right. So that that, that is thick. It's not liquidy like their drop foundation. Oh, okay. You were kind of just dropping out. Okay, I'm just gonna do one bloop uh okay so here it is i hope i hope you could kind of see it can you see it right here it low key looks like a nipple and i'm gonna go ahead and just mix this baby up and let's see how this goes and here we are it looks very light on camera i just think that tone isn't right the shade looks kind of all right I just don't think that tone oh i still got a little bit of cappuccino at the bottom of the spatula mix all this baby in Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I thought I was gonna be like angry because like I have to like make my own foundation. But like this is fun. I get like a little scientist or whatever. Okay, so let's try this one out. So this one has more of pure beige and like a drop, hopefully, I don't really know, of cappuccino. So let's do it. Boop. Ooh, that is actually still too light. Okay. Okay, but if I blend it, it looks like it could be okay if I blend it. All right, okay, okay, we may have gotten somewhere. Now, for my next trick, I'm going to be doing more of cappuccino and like a drop of pure beige to see how that goes. Cappuccino and like a drop of pure beige. So there it is. Looks like another reverse nipple. <laughs> Do nipples ever come in that color? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, that actually looks better. But also, how that's gonna read on my face, I feel like it's gonna be just a little bit too dark. But we shall see. Okay. I think the pointy side is supposed to be for like powder products and then this side is supposed to be for foundations. I don't know, guys, please do this safely. Cause I'm not. Uh, oh. All right, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna be able to tell that I'm like kind of red. See, this one low key look like it disappeared, like low key. Uh, this one, like I say, you're gonna be kind of, you're 
Okay, you're gonna kind of tell right here. So you could even tell on camera, I almost look like the peanut butter baby. And it's just not the right shade. What I want to do is, I think I wanna go ahead and do the same amount of pure beige, but add like maybe an extra half drop to another drop of cappuccino. And let's see how that works. Because for some reason, this shade looks darker than this one when I clearly put more cappuccino in this one. Then go ahead and just add like another drop and see how that works. Y'all ever seen those videos on, you know, rolled ice cream and how like they play with it and stuff like that? I kind of just want to like do that. Ooh, just look at, oh, that was a horrible sound. Okay, so now it looks darker. Okay, well, at least to me in person, this looks darker than this one. Um, great. Now I don't have much real estate on the face right now. So we gotta figure out, am I gonna put this on the forehead? Am I gonna put it on the chin? Oh yeah, that is so noticeable. That's bad. This was not really noticeable. We put it on the forehead. Simba. Maybe that wasn't a good representation because I just realized that my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. Oh, this is hard. See, now that looks like it would just match the bottom half of my face, but like, Ooh, how's it gonna work? Hey, that looks a lot better. So, I guess I'm gonna go with the third concoction that I made right here. Um, see, the problem with See, this just like shows that I really, really do wish that they would just put the medium tones in stock because that means I have to do like, remember to do this all the time. And it's like having the right ratios and all that stuff to like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be on my scientist grind every single day. Like, I just want to go ahead and put some dang makeup on, some foundation on, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take off this foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and put on a primer because I was not wearing a primer the whole time because that would kind of defeat the purpose like why wear a primer when I'm just gonna take it off in like literally two seconds. So my forehead is out of its casket. Ow! I just scratched my face. Okay now I'm, I think I now did this wrong. See this is just can y'all have to just put the medium tones back in just put the medium tones back in it is okay i see y'all put other stuff in restock medium tones and you know what's extra bothersome about that it's not that the medium tone <coughs> it's not that the medium tones went out of stock multiple times it's that the first time it went out of stock they never restocked it so it was like since launch they just never restocked it and people have been waiting and waiting even people put in the reviews of this foundation like can y'all please restock it it's oily girls you know we want to be able to wear something like this wear one of your foundations especially since this is full coverage i mean like of course people with dry skin don't mean they don't need full coverage but or want full coverage I was like, I'm really just gonna be on like scientist-ish every day to make this work. Like, look, I'm not down for this. I mean, this is kind of fun though. <laughs> Luckily, their foundations are really cheap because if I had to do this with a more expensive foundation, oh, best believe you would hear my mouth going. Like, I done spent $40 on this foundation and I still got a mix. No, more like I spent $50 or $60 on the foundation. I still got to mix. Okay, the tone is still not right. How am I supposed to get this right? Okay, I think this is the closest I'm gonna get. Oh my gosh. So that, see, okay, even I can see on camera, I can see the difference in between the two. So I'm going to be using their primer spray right here. I'm not really a primer spray, primer water any liquid primer type of person. I'm more of like a squeeze and put in my hand and rub it on my face kind of person when it comes to primer. So let's see how this works. Oh my goodness, actually, actually, I don't know why I didn't do this, but I think it was shortly after I placed my order, they released an oil control version of this and their setting spray. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? 
this made me sad. Okay. I don't know why I drew an arrow on my face. What? All right, time to take this and let's go. Guys, I'm not, I'm not liking this. <laughs> it's starting to look ghostly. And I swear, I put so much more drops of cappuccino in here. In my viewfinder, I look kind of ghostly. But like in person, I look kind of okay. You know what, but it's fine. Usually, for me personally, when it comes to foundation, if I had to choose a shade that's a little bit too light or a little bit too dark, I would prefer a little too light because I could warm it up with bronzer and blush and stuff like that rather than too dark you could like i guess lighten it up with concealer but i think it's just easier to do it the other way i don't know that's just me but um i will say full coverage i necessarily wouldn't say full coverage but i will say medium medium coverage because i actually did not use all of what i mixed right here and all that spots all the stuff that i got on my face where is she? I don't know. Except for you can see some of the eruptions of my pimples. <sighs> so I'm going to go ahead, finish the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done with the rest of my face. Um, it definitely looks a lot better and not as ghostly. Why? Because I actually used their setting powder in the shade Warm which definitely warmed up my face. So this actually saved the day, but I will say it is a hassle having to just mix these two and trying to find the right combo, the right ratios of foundation so I could get my shade. Oh, these over here are concealer. Uh, those over here are concealer, so you ain't gotta worry about that. But still, cause like this one, the big blob is still not really the right shade is this one which that one was like a better match so i don't know look can y'all please just put the medium tones and stop come on like not everybody wants to be on their scientist grind every day when they putting on their makeup look i'm probably like an hour late to something and i just gotta throw something on and I can't just, I can't, I can't do that. Come on, guys, just put it back and stop. I'm begging you. Oh my God. But I really do like the coverage. Like, I definitely did not feel like I needed to put concealer on my face. And honestly, if I did not do my eyeshadow before my um, foundation, because I usually don't do that, um, but I did this time around. So if y'all like doing that, I did that. I feel like if I did not do my eyes before my foundation, and if I would have just got close enough under my lower lash line, I think it would have done like a pretty decent job of covering up my um, lower lash line hot messness. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like. Also, uh, comment down below. Um, have you tried this foundation yet? Have you? Do you have the medium tones? Does anybody know, does anybody in Shop Ms. A, can I get some insight? Just like, just me and you, okay? Me and you, we could go ahead, I could turn off this camera, we could hop into like a little live, a little, a little Instagram DM, Twitter DM thing. You know, you could give me the deets. Give me the details. When is it gonna be in stock? Because your girl is struggling here, okay? I can't be doing this. All right, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Also comment down below if you have tried this foundation and you know i need details on when that stuff is coming it's coming back in stock so i can finally just have my shade okay i just need the shade give me my shade all right and if you are subscribed please click that notification bell so you get notified every time i post and if you are not subscribed please do because we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers on my birthday which is august 14th okay i'm gonna go bye
Juro o seu brilho 